G'day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So just a quick little tutorial for you today. And basically we're gonna be taking a look at how to download offline maps to either your RC Pro or the DJI RC. Now I kind of did cover this a little bit in a firmware video about a month ago when this feature was released, but I thought I'd make a video just dedicated to it for people who are searching for that information. Now in the past that really wasn't an issue because most people flew with this style of controller and a smartphone. So that means your maps were downloaded automatically in real time as you needed them because your smartphone has an internet connection. However, with the DJI RC Pro and the DJI RC, there is no active internet connection unless you tether it to your phone. So if you do have to pull up your maps, it's not going to display. However, tethering to your phone using the hotspot feature is one option, but it's not really convenient. And in the case of the DJI RC, DJI actually disables the Wi-Fi as soon as you launch your drone, just because it can interfere with the signal transmission. So this works the same on both controllers, but I am going to demonstrate it here on the DJI RC. So right now I am disconnected from Wi-Fi and I just want to show you what the difference is. So let's go into our camera view here. And I'm going to bring up our maps. Now I already have this area downloaded as a map, a cached map. So it's displaying everything. But if I go to a different city where I haven't done that, let's go over to Sarnia. You can see as we zoom in, it's not displaying any information. So to download offline maps, what we're going to do is go back to the main page of the DJI Fly app. We're going to click on Profile. And you can see with the latest firmware update that we got about a month ago for the DJI RC and the RC Pro, we have this new option here called Offline Maps. If we click on it, it gives us an option to start downloading different maps for different areas. So we can zoom in and out, find the area that we want to download a map for. So let's uh, download that area there. You can see at the bottom here, it shows us how big the map is going to be that we're going to be downloading. And it also shows us how much available space is on the device. Now, before you go ahead and download the maps, you do want to make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. So you want to do this at home before you head out. So I'm going to click on the download button. Now at this point, it will ask you if you want to give that region a specific name. And it's probably a good idea to do because we can go in and manage what we have downloaded later. And it makes it a little bit easier to identify which area is which. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as region two and we'll click yes. And as here, you can see it does give us a progress percentage showing us how much longer it's going to take. And there we go there, that area has been downloaded. So you can go ahead and do a couple different areas if you know you're heading out to a location. Make sure you have good coverage. Now to manage and delete some of the downloads that we do currently have, we can click the downloads button at the top there. And you can see it lists all the different areas that we've downloaded. And this is where I said it, it's a good idea to name it because that way you know what is what. You can see I have one called London and one just called Region 2. At this point we can go in and delete them or rename them. And to do so we click those three dots. You can see it gives us an option to rename and to delete. Now I'm just going to exit out of there and I'm going to disconnect from Wi-Fi. And we'll go back into our camera view and we'll bring up our maps. Now as you can see I don't have an internet connection but I do have the maps that I downloaded previously. And at this point we can even switch over to satellite view. Again, it's all cached. So yeah, just a quick tutorial showing you how to download offline maps. Offline maps is not something that you need to do. A lot of people don't even use them. They do come in handy in some scenarios. So it's just up to the user whether it's something that they're going to find beneficial, if it's something they'll be using out in the field. Well, folks, that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.